All right, you ready to learn some more? So moving on in our course, now we're going to do our second exercise in which we'll learn several interesting features. First, we'll learn the command rectangle. That's pretty simple. Then we'll see the command relative point that we use to create a geometry based in an already made geometry. That's a very useful command. We'll learn the command circle and review the command multiple line. We'll also review the OSNAP reference points, the center line, and dimensions. I'll leave a reference drawing in the right side of the window. And to start the drawing, we'll click the command rectangle and then select the origin point. So we left click in the origin point and open the rectangle with the mouse and left click again at any point. Then two dimensions will show up. And when we click, the software will ask the value. Then we set the length and the width of the rectangle. We put the value and press Enter. To do our circle that's going to be in the center of the, re the rectangle, we'll use the command relative point. So after we open the command circle, instead of clicking at some O snap point as the center of the circle, we're going to select the option relative point and select an end point of the rectangle as reference. In this case, I'm using the upper left point. You observe that a red dot will show up, and then you select the point as reference. Then a dashed rectangle will be open, showing you that you will set a point reference in the XY axis from the relative point. Okay, now you click at any point inside the rectangle geometry to create the circle, and click again to set a generic radius value to the circle. After that, an XY dimension will be created, and we'll set the X value as 20, and the Y value is 12.5, set the center of the circle. Then the radius dimensions will show up, and we'll set the value as 9 and press Enter. The standard is to set the diameter value instead of the radius value. To change this configuration, we double-click the diameter dimension and select Type in the upper part of the window. A dialog box will open, and then we'll select near the OK button the option Show Radius Value and click on OK. Now, in this file, the software will ask and show the radius value instead of the diameter value in the circles. Now, we'll draw the rhombus by clicking in the command multiple line and selecting the OSNAP reference point midpoint and selecting the center of the rectangle lines, drawing the rhombus geometry. To select the midpoint, we right click on the mouse and select midpoint in the list, and then select the middle of the line. And we keep doing that until we finish the geometry. Then we click in Finish to close the command. Finishing the exercise, we're going to use the command Centerline and select the option Double to create the center line of the circle. We select the O snap point center point and select the center of the circle to open the center line size. Now we left click to set the center line size. All right, almost done. The last thing to do in this exercise is to adjust the general scale of the drawing and to set the positions for the dimensions just as the positions of the reference drawing. We'll also do a couple of new dimensions to show the circle's center position. Then finishing our second exercise. Well guys, that's it for today. Remember to subscribe, click the notification bell to receive our alerts for our weekly training videos.